our agenda, we want to find a rate from a table. So this table right here shows the amount of money you can make walking for a charity. Find your unit rate in dollars per mile. All right, when we look at this table, I'm hoping that you remember some things from science class right now. First off, this table consists of distance and money. One of those variables is independent and one of them is dependent. The top in the table represents your X or your independent variable. Your money in dollars represents your Y or your dependent. In order to figure out a unit rate from a table, you need to figure out what the change in the dependent variable is and divide that by the change in the independent variable. Again, this triangle, it's great. It means change in. So because I'm so lazy, I do not have to write that whole big word. I can make a triangle, and it really does mean it. I'm not making that up. So change in Y divided by change in X. And maybe you're wondering what I mean by change in. I mean up by. What does Y go up by? If you're going from 2 to 4, you're going up 2. From 4 to 6, it's the same thing. Up 2, and 6 to 8 is up 2. For the change in y from 24 to 48, maybe when you look at that, you're not really sure. What is it going up by? If you're not sure, you can just subtract the second and the first. So 48 minus 24 is 24. So to get from 24 to 48, you're adding 24. 48 to 72, you add 24. 72 to 96, you add 24. So we want to know our rate in dollars per mile. Dollars is first, miles is second, right? So dollars is down here. The change in the dollar on top, that's 24. The change in my miles is 2. That goes on the bottom. To figure out the unit rate, we just learned you divide the top by the bottom. 24 divided by 2 is 12. This means that walking for a charity earns you $12 per mile. All right, one more example with tables. I like this one much better. This is dancing for charity. I would love to do that. Let's see how much we can earn. It should be more because I think dancing is a lot tougher than just walking. So this table, it shows the amount of money you can earn by dancing for a charity. We want to figure out how much we can make per hour. So in order to do that, we need to find the change in Y and divide that by the change in X because it's dollars per hour and the money is the dollars, that's my Y. The time, is that's my X, that's my hours. And it's dollars per hour, so it's Y over X. So as you can see with the time, it's going up by six every single time. The dollars is going up by 90 every single time. And again, if you look at 90 and 180 and you're not certain, all you need to do to figure out what it goes up by is take the second and subtract the first. We get a change of 90. So now we have 96. This is $90 per six hours. We want to know how much for one hour. So all you need to do is take 90 divided by six and we find out that you can earn $15 per hour dancing for charity. All right, last, we want to find a rate from a graph. So the graph I have here and you have in front of you, it shows the distance that sound travels through water. Find the speed of sound in kilometers per second. So right here, we have our time, and notice number scales. Number scales are a really important thing to look at on a graph. Each one of these lines doesn't mean one. This means one half. So our number scale down here, it's kind of skipping a space, you would call it, but I'm really counting by a half. And on my distance, we are counting by ones. Now, up here in the table, we saw that to find the unit rate, you just take the change in y and divide it by the change in x. These are actually referring to the x and y axis on a graph as well. So we can figure out our unit rate the same exact way on this graph. When you look at this graph, here's my x axis and here's my y axis. So all we need to do is figure out what our change in y is, what our change in x is, and then we can divide them. So take a look. You're, you get two ordered pairs listed here. We have two, three, and we have four, six. Let me zoom in on that. I know you've got it in front of you, but it's better to see a little bit closer. 
All right, so remember that in an ordered pair, it's x, y. So that means the first number in the ordered pair represents my x movement, and the second number represents our y movement. So if I'm trying to find the change in y, I want to know from y to y, how much do I move? If you're going from 3 to 6, the change in y is 3. We just went up 3. So my change in y would be 3. The next thing you need to do is find your change in x. Now I need to start with the same ordered pair that I started with. So I'm going from 2 to 4 on my x values. From 2 to 4 is up 2. So change in x is 2. To calculate our unit rate, all we're going to do is take our change in y, which was 3, and divide that by our change in x, which is 2, and we get 1.5. And it's 1.5 y per x. So that means 1.5 y is kilometers per x is seconds. So 1.5 kilometers per second. That's how sound travels through water. I think it's much slower because whenever people try to talk to me underwater, I cannot understand a word they're saying. I don't know about you, but it's pretty tough. All right, last example. We're almost there. This graph shows the distance that you walk. Very exciting. I know. But I want to figure out what your rate is in feet per second. So in looking at this, we're going to do the same exact thing we did before. I'm going to list a little x and a little y by each so I can keep them straight common mistake people make are computers too. So we said in order to figure out a unit rate, we take the change in y and we divide it by the change in x. If I'm going from this point to this point, if I go from 11 to 22, I'm asking you 11 plus what gives you 22? If you're not sure, take 22 minus 11 and the change in y is 11. The change in x to get from 2 to 4, you're going up 2. So now, we want our unit rate. All you need to do is take top divided by bottom. And when you take 11 divided by 2, you end up getting 5.5. And what that 5.5 means is that you can walk 5.5 feet per second. That concludes our notes for today. I hope you enjoyed the fun-filled rates. And please come to class tomorrow with an idea of a rate that applies to you. Thank you.